Well, as a young girl, she was in Garden City, Kansas, of course, and I think having a church right across the street, they spent a lot of time there. So they were like one of the main families that were Catholic that lived right next to, you know, across the street. I think that she just always wanted to go and learn more and learn about business and the way things people did things and came on to eventually uh, came to Wichita to see the Sacred Heart College and was able to come to school here and start 1942. My dad always wanted to have a nursery business. I went to K-State on the GI Bill and eventually was able to move back to Wichita to start his business and got married and started having children and had more children. Being a family business with the business actually right inside of our home in a small nursery operation. So my mom would stay at home taking care of the kids and also watch the store. So if people would pull in, we had a bell ringer on the drive like the gas stations. And so they'd drive in and we'd hear that ding, ding, ding in the house. And so we'd start hollering, customers, customers. And so then she would go out with one of the kids on her hip and Mike or someone pulling at her uh, blouse, you know, wanting to talk to her. And she's standing there selling someone a bag of packs or, you know, a bottle of ortho, you know, weed killer, that type of thing. And she always helped dad with the uh, books where everything was done by hand and written out you know, on a monthly basis, and so it was uh, quite the family-run operation there. It was always very important to um, thank God for everything that they had, and uh, the business grew and it did very well. The more they could give back, the, the better they, they felt about everything and their business and their lives. Yeah, in the early days of the sisters, sisters would come in and talk to dad, and he knew them real well, and they knew him, and they knew he knew what he was doing, and that he could help them out with their gardening and fruit trees. So if they needed the, the spring garden, then he could come over with our little tractor and uh, plow it up for them. Then eventually it became Kansas Newman College, and they needed more trees and more help, so he kept helping them. The nursery's been able to help out on two major projects. One would be the new walkway, that was installed um, that led from the parking lot to the administration building and when they redid that and uh, and then the part the big part then of course was when sister Tarsicia came out with the large plans on the plaza and we talked about that and to try to help them with that project. I would say my mom's um, impact that she's had on other people would be uh, just that very caring person that comes across as someone that's, you know, sincerely concerned with people and how they're doing and, you know, if, if their well-being. And, you know, I have so many people that I know from St. Elizabeth that come up to me and say they, they've known my mom and that she's just the nicest person they've ever known. She's just such a wonderful person. And I think that by her living her life as she has, that just comes across to people. It's not that she is uh, doing things that sh she hasn't lived her life to impress upon people, but it's just come across that, that she's just a very wonderful person and a very caring person.